What's up guys and welcome back to more Minecraft the PlayStation 4 edition. In the last episode we made ourselves an enchantment table after we got ourselves out of that spooky cave with some of the diamonds we found we made it and it's pretty darn cool. Oh gosh, not what I wanted to do. But <laughs> yeah, we can now enchant things. I might want to hold on before I start enchanting things, I'm not really sure. Um, Alrighty then, so what I can do after reading up on it is that I can put this in here and oh, 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 oh I didn't mean to do that but Oh, okay, now it has efficiency one. I wanted to put something else on it, but I, I misclicked. <laughs> okay then, but you can put on different ones depending on its level. So it's like I could do the same thing with this iron pickaxe. Since I have plenty of levels, I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, I have 35 levels. So I could have used something better there for the pickaxe, but I mean, at the same time, it's all guesswork anyways. Like this could be really good, it could be really bad. But I can just do this over and over again until I see something I like. Um, since I'm up to level 35, I can have some pretty high dictatorship on what I want. So I can do like level 9, which is going to be plus <laughs> the same exact thing. Um, I think, right? Um, oh, maybe I read that wrong. Unbra okay, I, th I saw the plus 5 attack damage and thought that's what my bonus was. Okay, I misread that. We have efficiency 1 for our pickaxe and unbreaking 2 for our iron pickaxe. Okay, then I think efficiency will, of course, make it more efficient. And I think the... um. Unbreaking will make it so that it just has more durability. I don't know, feel free to let me know if I'm wrong or not. Also, in the last episode, we got these wonderful books. We got the Respiration 1, Silk Touch 1, and Knockback 2. And I didn't know how to use them, but you guys let me know in the comment section below that um, how you get those to work is you get an anvil, or an anvil. I don't know how to pronounce an anvil, apparently. But here it is. Okay, so how do you make one? It looks like we need three iron blocks and then four normal normal iron things. I don't know if we have enough for that, but I, you know, I figure we'll make this since all of you told me all about it hmm maybe I, I think I need this and I'm hoping this isn't all of the iron I have it might be I might be fresh out of iron after this guy so we need to be careful um, no iron in there and no iron in here that's okay I mean it's not the end of the world oh okay here we are here's more iron perfect and then we got some gold in here too cool and then we got even some more levels out of that too looks like it's getting nighttime out there maybe a little bit yeah, okay, cool. But we'll be talking about our goals and what we want to do in this episode just in a moment. I feel like right now, though, we got to focus on making this. I feel like this will be cool. Hmm, so where can we find the iron blocks? So make one, two, three of those. And then we're going to go all the way back over here. And then where is it? Um, hmm, an anvil. There we go. So I can place this down somewhere. Maybe I'll place this upstairs or not. I'll make... I guess that we'll keep focusing on making this house here, or this room here, sort of like our little workshop. Oh, anvil can be used to repair weapons, tools. Oh, really? So this is all super duper interesting. With our three books, we can actually use these to enchant other items. So I could like um, uh, plop this guy in there. And then I could like, you know, I'm not going to do this. I, I don't, I mean, I could put this in there, but I don't think it would be worth putting an iron sword. Maybe I should uh, do like, like my iron leggings, like yeah, that'll work. Like that would be helpful to enchant because I wear these things all the time. I wear my glorious pants and I don't know if I did that right. Um, What is this, respiration one? Maybe that just doesn't work. Um, hmm. I think I want this on the left slot and then yeah, this up here and then we can change the name of it. <laughs> okay then, here, let me do that. <laughs> can you really change the name of your item like this? Oh, huh, okay, here we go. Let's do that, there you go, excellent. And then we can enchant it and give it respiration one. But I don't know if I want to do that. Um, what else can we do? We can do respiration one, knockback two, and silk touch. Well, I guess like I don't know what these mean, but respiration one sounds like it would be nice to have. So we're gonna we're gonna give it respiration one. Okay, that <laughs> cool. Then okay, now we can equip that really quick. There you go, excellent. And then there we go. Now we don't have our iron leggings anymore. We got pants. We got pants. <laughs> Okay, then cool. This is interesting. This is like a whole new like level of Minecraft for me I've never really done this kind of stuff. All right, then so like I said um, What our goal for this episode today will be to go out after the nighttime all the way back to our sand village Buddies and getting some of their carrots and potatoes Hopefully they still have some more left and if they do we're going to be borrowing some of them and expanding our farm Since it has been a while since we've last touched it with that with that being said Maybe we should go and get some of these crafts. Hey get off my roof you dang kids <laughs> You dang not alive kids. Oh, that's sad Um, hmm. So we got all these books and things we could keep on working on the um Books, but not for right now. For right now, we're just going to focus on our main goal, which is to get those ever so wonderful uh, 
those uh, potatoes and carrots so that we can eat our vegetables and become big and strong. Sounds good to me. Um, I wanted to get a sword if I can find one. Um, this one's getting a little low. They're both getting a little low, so I'll combine their efforts. <laughs> can I do that in the anvil? That would be cool if I could combine two swords to combine their durability. I'm guessing I can't, but let's try it. Oh, okay, I can. Huh, logic. And it only costs one, so I might as well. There we go. Can I do this? And oh, I, I guess I had the opportunity to change its name. Oh, I can still, so I can call it, but, <laughs> and that works. Oh, but it costs nine points to call it butt. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, but butts are nice, but not nine points nice. I'm never on a budget here. Okay then, so let's put the iron back. No, that's the iron sword. Give me that back. Hmm. All right then, so this should be all we need for right now, just to go out and get ourselves a wonderful old, um, of the, the food off this way. So let's go. Figured I'd bring some food with me, some nice watermelons. And if we go on our way, we can start um killing some cows. So yeah, these guys. I mean, we do have plenty of cows back at the um back at the range, <laughs> back at the farm. So I don't think we're going to have to hurt any of these guys back. We might want to start helping them breed again. Ooh, look at all you guys, fresh, fresh meat. Yes, haha, <laughs> delicious, excellent, <laughs> cool. Okay then, so I know it has been about a month since we've last seen the, an episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4 and I do apologize for the delay. Right now I just sort of have this issue that there are so many awesome series going on at one time that it's hard to cover them all, but I've been sort of inspired the last few days to get back to work and start uploading multiple videos a day. Life has been so busy and hectic for me that it's been hard to sort of stay motivated to do this kind of stuff. You know, YouTube videos every single day. So, I don't know, I'm sorry if there has been a lack of uploads and you haven't been enjoying it, but from here on out, I promise I'll be working my darndest to keep you guys happy, because your happiness makes me happy. Um, I think we actually gotta go over here. It's been so long that I'm sort of forgetting the way, but at the same time, this is my home away from home. My virtual reality block Hockey home, I have to know the way. Ooh, let's not fall down there. That wouldn't be fun at all. That would be the opposite of fun. Um, unfunness. <laughs> it wouldn't be boring, it would just be horrifying. Hmm. All right, I think we need to go a little bit this way. I mean, I have my trusty map, if need be. And it looks like it's just right over here, so eh, not that far of a run away. Is this a new map? Hmm. I feel like it's a new map, or that we just haven't traveled south at all, which is pretty weird, but. <laughs> Either way, it is north this way. We're just gonna be tree hopping. <laughs> zebra, zebra, zebra of the jungle, watch him climb the trees. Uh, oh no! <laughs> I'm not very good at it. I forgot how far of a walk this was. <laughs> we're almost there at this point, I promise. I think that we're it's over the next bit of hill here. I, I can't remember, but I do remember that there is some precious food there that I hopefully didn't get all of it last time we were here. Ha <laughs> ha, I found it. I see some plants out there in the distance. That'll be nice to grab. And I've never ever farmed potatoes or carrots before, so it'll be a nice experience. And I think it'll be fun. It'll be a nice way to expound, expand our little farm into something much bigger, so yeah. Hello, you wonderful villagers. And do you guys have anything for trade that I could actually benefit from? I wonder. Hmm. Let me pick up all these carrots and potatoes first. Remember the time I s had a sleepover at this house? <laughs> I remember it just suddenly. I was like, <laughs> there were fun times. You know, we've been doing 25, I think this is the 25th episode of Minecraft for PS4. And it's just, wow, we've had, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Are you okay? Okay, what do you have? Um. Farmer's offer, um, okay. I, I wouldn't really trade an emerald for three bread. That's not really the best trade in the world, sorry. I can make bread from home at this point. <laughs> but what about you, what do you have? Arrows are pretty good. Um, and you have Eye of Ender. But what about you? You also have an emerald. Oh, oh well, no, I can trade you meat for an emerald. You might be the one worth talking to then because I need to get emeralds and they don't, I've, I've never ever found an emerald underground from what I remember, so it would be helpful. Oh yeah, that's right. I have all this stuff in here. Okay, then might as well get all this then. <laughs> Completely forgot that this was here. Oh, my home away from home. I forgot about you. He has a compass, which actually might be super duper helpful. So maybe I'll, Hmm, maybe I should go on a cow killing spree at some point. I'm sorry cows, but it must be done. So that I can get all of those emeralds and then get them to buy a compass. I mean, I'd have to have a lot of that meat, but it would definitely be helpful to have. At this point, I'm just trying to get all of these seeds as much as I possibly can. <laughs> Leave them starving. I, I think they'll be fine. I have never seen a villager eat before, so I think that they'll be okay. But yeah, we're gonna just go grab all this and this will be super duper for our farm. 
<laughs> I just feel so mean taking this all away, but it's okay. And I need to just check out all the villagers, make sure that I know what they have for trade. Looks like there's nobody up in here. Hmm. A lot of these houses just aren't like, you know, existent, like they're not occupied. Which also means I can move in at any moment, hooray! Hmm. So I think I've talked to just about all of you fellas. Um, I could check in here, but there's never anything interesting in this tower for whatever reason. I feel like there needs to be like more like treasure in villages. Um, I already talked to you. I don't think I talked to that guy off on the roof doing the hardcore parkour. So let's um, yeah, hell you. Uh, uh, hey buddy, and you have cooked fish for an emerald. That's a little more difficult than the meat to be honest, but there we go. That's just about all I can get from here. A pretty good loot if you ask me. Um, we got 48 carrots, 64 potatoes, okay. Pretty good setup. I think that's good enough to make our way back home then. It's starting to get a little spooky dark, but we're really, really close to home at this point, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, Let's get this really quick. I won't get it all, but just a few pieces of it, just because I can mine it ever so quickly with this new diamond pickaxe. And wow, there is a lot here. Okay, so much free stuff. Mine for the taken. And I'll take the, take the rest of that at some point in the future, but it's getting too dark, too spooky for me. So I gotta head out of here. Oh man, <laughs> go, go, go. It's still even more cold too, so. I mean, it's like, if we ever feel like we're running low on cold, we all we have to do is take a few paces back. And I see skeleton gangs, they're both after me now. No, leave me alone, you big jerks. Yeah, leave me alone, in the morning we'll have to do our farming. We obviously can't do it now. Um, Do that, and then sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh, there's monsters. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Meow. There, I got rid of the monsters. Now we can sleep. Yes, finally, some some peace and quiet around here. <laughs> so noisy all the time with the sheep's baaing and the moos mooing or the cows, whatever they are. Either way, we should be good to start getting our farm on. So, um, hmm. I want these seeds. I don't think I'm gonna need them though. But just in case, also let's get um, all, everything we got really. We got the um, this and then this and that. Okay, good, good, good. Now I need to find where I put the hoe so that I can um, you know, figure that out and try to get um, all the ground tilt. That would be super duper helpful. Um, so I just need to look around for it. I think it's over here, but hmm. There's just so much stuff that I just need to organize so badly, but there's just so much to do all the time. Mine Minecraft is so just active all the time. I'm also bringing along a few fences so that um, I can expand this area properly, um, and then, th then we'll be good. We'll have a bigger farm going on. I probably should have brought a spoon out with me so that I can also, um, right behind us, um, expand that dirt a bit, because this is gonna be in the way. So let me go grab that too. Okay then, so this is looking a lot better. Now we need to sort of just, hmm. I don't know how I wanna plan this out. I think first of all, maybe we should uh, get all of this. Get all of it, every ounce of it. I can get all the wheat. And the cows are freaking out. Like, I just want one bite, please. Just one, one little nibble on that wheat. <laughs> oh, a brown sheep, we don't see many of those. I really wanna see some fancy colored sheep in this game. I know they exist, I just haven't seen any myself. Hmm, maybe one of these days it'll happen. <laughs> Okay then, so let's just get all this watermelon, and then there we go. Now I can start tilling this dirt, and I figure I'll do the same thing where it's just like every other block. I know people explained to me before that apparently I don't need as much water as I put down, but I just sort of want to, just in case, you know, to be extra sure, to be extra careful that everything works out the way it's supposed to. I would like it to be every other thing. So, I mean, this is my farm, isn't it? <laughs> I also wanted to say that um, I am open to suggestions, though. I'm, I'm obviously just joking, but um, yeah, I, I'm definitely open to suggestions. Whenever you guys want to see, I'm definitely willing to try out. The whole idea with um, going to get um, the, these potatoes and carrots was a um, commenter's idea. Unfortunately, I'm really bad with names, so I can't remember every commenter that suggested so something, because usually it's more than one person who suggests the same thing. But yeah, this idea was completely of you guys, so thank you guys so much. And feel free to leave your own suggestion in the comment section below if you'd like to see something else. You know, maybe we should go on a new adventure next episode. I have some pretty cool stuff planned. I won't say anything, I'll just look off into the distance <laughs> and then um yeah I think this is good for now so now I'm going to start fencing things up again fencing up all of this farm yeah just like this and I'll have to um get more 
of this shoveled out of the way so that no animals are trick shot jumping into my farm and then stepping on all my crops to get revenge for incapturing some of their brethren over here. <laughs> I don't think anything too bad will happen, but it's of course good to try to make sure everything is in proper working order. So there we go. And then finally, let's just continue on with this. All right then, now we're nicely in our farm. I'm gonna till all of this dirt. Just like this, and, and I know this will eventually until, so I do have to be a little quick about it. At the same time, I'm not stressing. I ain't stressing over no farm. So farming is supposed to be nice, fun, and relaxing. So yeah, yeah, it's already untilling. So maybe I'm doing this in the wrong order. Um, but for now, like, I need to reca like replant the seeds. That's something I can do right now. So let's get all that done, just like this, nice and seedy. <laughs> awesome. So I figure I'll put down as many carrots and potatoes as I can. That'll be nice and helpful to have. So I can, maybe I should get the water down first? I'm not now I'm being all indecisive, stinking zebra. You don't even know what you wanna do. Where's your game plan, man? All right, then I finally got all the water down. So I'm just gonna start putting some carrots down, good old carrots. And hopefully these guys grow nice and strong so I have nice food to eat. As you can see, I'm running out of hunger, so I'm getting pretty hungry, getting the munchies. So I'm just sitting here like, I might eat these carrots raw, man. I just might eat the carrot seeds. <laughs> no, that's fine, though. I will plant all these guys back on in. So hopefully that we can, you know, just keep on planting more and more of them and get that benefit. So let's uh, keep doing this. I just got to do this over and over again. At this point, I'm thinking I, I might finish off this row and then switch over to potatoes for this last little bit of it, and then it'll be nighttime and all the monsters will attack me and my farm will blow up instantaneously, and I'll be a sad, sad zebra. Hopefully that doesn't happen though. That's why I'm working as fast as I can. I'm moving my stripes. Ooh, what was that noise? I think somebody was walking around on the dirt, but it sounded like somebody was trying to bite the box behind me. So creepy. Oh man, we do have to be a little quick here. Um, till all of this dirt and hopefully my rock hoe can keep in. Oh no, the last one. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I can do it tomorrow. I can do it tomorrow. <laughs> Isn't that the words of a slacker, right? I'll just do it later. Nah, nah. <laughs> okay then. But there we go. We were able to do it before it was nighttime. We can sleep now and then eat some delectable foods tomorrow. There we go though. Our farm is now expanded, which is awesome. I'm also gonna give it a shot at cooking some of the potatoes, eating them up and seeing how that works. I heard that, you know, we've had commenters say that this actually does um, restore your hunger quite a bit. So one baked potato, please. Yum, 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 yum. Delicious, ooh, I think that was three hunger bars. That's pretty nice. So I'll make sure to eat all of this up. It's a nice, healthy breakfast for us. <laughs> you know, typically you eat baked potato, but that sounds like a dinner type of food, but now we're eating it for breakfast. Either way, no big deal. And I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Minecraft for the PlayStation 4. Next episode, we'll be doing just as wonderful things, but I would like to know what you thought about some of the things we did in today's episode. And make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends and family, because the support truly does help. Either way, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.